Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, Senior Leader of the Awakening House of Prayer Global Movement, our headquarters here in Fort Lauderdale. Of course, our church, House of Prayer, Prophecy Rooms, Healing Rooms. Come on down and visit. The nations are coming. Today's broadcast sponsored by AwakeningPrayerHubs.com. AwakeningPrayerHubs.com. Looking for a new breed, a new wave of intercessory prayer leaders in the nations of the earth. Check that out. Find out more about it. Awakening Prayer Hubs. Dot com. I'm the founder of the Ignite Apostolic Prophetic Network, Get Ignited, Company of Seers, the Company of Prophets, Lighthouses. Maybe you're one to lead a lighthouse in your community. Go check that out, ignitenow.org. And of course, I'm the author of our devotional, Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. However, we are sticking with Victory Decrees for now. The new devotional that just came out uh, this year, Victory Decrees. And today's devotion titled, Press Into Discernment. Mm, press in to discernment. I'm going to say that one more time. Press in to discernment. And here's what I heard the Lord say. Many want to grow in the gift of prophecy or grow in the gift of miracle working. I'm always pleased to see my people desire spiritual gifts, says God. Fewer, though, press into the gift of discerning of spirits. This gift is vital in the days in which you live and the days that approach because many false ones will arise and the darkness, great darkness will begin to settle on the land. Many will be deceived because they do not discern. Practice discernment now and earnestly desire my gifts. My, 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 my. That's a word. You better get a copy of that one. Philippians, nine, uh, Philippians 1, 9 through 10. Hebrews 4, verse 12. 1 Kings 3, verse 9. Now the prayer starter and the decree from the devotional. Father, just as King Solomon did, I'm asking you for discernment to judge between good and evil. Grant me this request so I can avoid the coming deception. I decree a divine exchange in my life. Deception for discernment. I declare I discern every demonic attack that works to move me away from the truth. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, we thank you this morning. Because you're not just the God who has discernment. You're the God that gives us discernment. You are creator God. You are the all discerning God. You don't have to wonder if something is good or evil. You separate the profane from the holy. You call what's white, white, and what's black, black, what's good, good, and what's bad, bad, what's treacherous, treacherous, and what's holy, holy. Father, we thank you. <laughs> That you are never fooled. You're never without an answer. You are never wondering what to do. Should you go this way, that way? You have discernment because you are the author of discernment. You're the author of our faith. You're the author of discernment. You're the author of wisdom. You're the author of everything. You are creator God, Elohim, the strong creator God, Elohim, the strong creator God. You created the world in six days and rested on the seventh you spoke it and it was so God help us to understand who we really are help us to understand our authority in Christ help us to understand the power of our words help us to understand why 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 we need to press into discernment in this hour help us Lord not to be negligent in the things of the spirit not to be negligent not to be careless in the area of discernment, taking things at face value only. Oh God, help us to discern how to walk in this realm where you say love believes the best, yet you tell us to judge a thing. You tell us to judge a righteous judgment. Help us, Lord, to walk that, to, to understand that, to, to, to step into that place where we can judge a righteous judgment by the force of love, but we don't Take things at face value in the sense that just because somebody says a thing, it makes it true. Help us, Lord, to discern the truth from a lie. Help us, Lord, to discern the good from the bad. Help us, Lord, to discern the good thing from the God thing. Help us, Lord. Help us to cultivate a deeper well of discernment in our hearts so that we are not deceived, so that we are not hoodwinked, so that we are not fooled, bamboozled. (laughs) Help us, Lord, to always consult you before making the decision so that you can pour out the discernment we need. You can give us that check in our spirit. You can give us that, whoa, that yellow light. God, would you help us (laughs) to discern, to walk in a greater level of discernment? 
<laughs> not to be so interested in gaining and promotions and advancing that we don't even realize that some of the people that are offering us a hand up, a leg up, are going to sweep us out from under our feet. Pull the carpet out. Oh, I don't know if anybody heard that. Help us, Lord. <laughs> Leaning on the arm of flesh. Jeremiah said, cursed is the man who leans on the arm of flesh. Oh, Jesus, help us to, to be those who understand that we're a family and we want to help each other. We want to open doors for each other according to your will. But there are some that we look to to give us a heads up, a leg up, a hand up. And they're the same ones that pull that rug out from under our feet because we didn't discern their motives weren't pure. They just wanted something from us. It wasn't a God ordained divine connection. It was an I'll scratch your back. You scratch mine connection. <laughs> There's a difference. God help us. <laughs> help us discern the difference between those true divine connections. Those ones we're supposed to work with closely. Those ones we're supposed to open doors for freely. Those ones that we're supposed to partner with cooperatively. Help us discern between those and the ones who just want something from us and as soon as they get it they're going to kick us to the curb as soon as they get it they're going to go on to the next person a little bit higher as soon as they get it they're going to forget our names as soon as they get it they're going to take away the favor that they bestowed upon us when they wanted something from us that they couldn't get for themselves god would you help us to discern who we're supposed to walk with who we're supposed to talk with who we're supposed to pray with who we're supposed to minister with who we're supposed to sow into who we're supposed to partner with financially in business deals God would you help us to discern who to buy from who to sell to Jesus oh the time we waste Oh, the momentum we lose. Oh, the tears we sow because we didn't connect with the right ones. We connected with the wrong ones when the right ones were right around the corner and we didn't want to wait. Oh, what tears we cry. Oh, what time we waste. Oh, what pain we suffer because we did not connect with the right one. We did not connect with the right thing because we were too anxious. We wanted it now or we were just deceived. We thought this was it. We thought that was the one. Oh, how much suffering we bring into our own lives because we don't discern the will of the Lord. Help us, Jesus. Ye me shora bashte ke te rabo. Arama ero mo shere bene gata. Jesus, sharpen us, God. <laughs> sharpen us, God. <laughs> sharpen us, God. Jesus, sharpen us and we'll be sharp. Help us to come away with you, to sit in your presence, to wait upon your answer. We ask, we ask, we ask, we ask, but do we wait on the answer? <laughs> do we sit in the prayer closet until you talk back oh so many times we just talk and 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 pray 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 and cry out and cry out and cry out and cry out but do we wait on the answer do we sit there long enough to hear your response oh God would you help us <laughs> oh Jesus cause ourselves so many troubles and you're wanting us to succeed at such high levels and you've set us up for success and you've said everything we put our hand to will prosper but somehow we put our hands to all the wrong things or some of the wrong things and we don't see the fruit that we wanted to see and we see all kinds of messes and fires everywhere because we weren't in your timing and we weren't in your will or we weren't in your presence long enough to hear what you had to say because we were in too big of a hurry to get somewhere else Oh, Shabbat, Jesus. We were in too big of a hurry to get somewhere else. Too big of a hurry to do something else. Too big of a hurry to see something else. Too big of a hurry. 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 Oh, God, help us to take a deep breath. To slow down when we need to slow down. To speed up when we need to speed up. To keep a steady pace when we need to keep a steady pace. Help us, Lord, to get in your timing, your rhythm, in sync, in a lockstep. 
Jesus, oh Shabashi, Yera Mare Bere Shama. Jesus, Jesus, apart from you, we can't do anything. <laughs> apart from you, we can't do anything. You are the vine, we are the branches. We need the life that comes from the vine, the life that comes from the source, the life that comes from your spirit, the life, the continual flow of life that comes from being connected in a heart connection with you, oh God. Lord, we love you. We repent for the times that we've come before you in a hurried state, in a harried state, and I got to know an answer now state when we're the ones that got us into these messes, when we didn't pray, when we should have prayed, and now it's an emergency. Oh, Jesus, would you help us, Lord, forgive us. Help us to change the way that we think, to have a steady momentum in our relations with you, in our prayer, in our worship, in our study, in our fellowship, so that when the crisis comes, we're not trying to play catch up. When the crisis comes, we're not trying to make up for lost time, like cramming for a test at midnight, the day before the big exam. Help us, Lord, to keep that consistent, steady flow, the ebb, the flow, the, the, the pressing in, the sitting and waiting, the, the spiritual warfare, the stopping and resting. Help us, Lord, to find the rhythm, the soothing rhythms of grace that you've called us to walk in as your children, as your sons, as your daughters. We need... We need, we need you, God, every day in every way. We need, we need, we need you, God. We need everything that you have proportioned and appointed for us. Help us, Lord, not to miss it. Help us, Lord, not to miss it. Not to miss the opportune time. Not to miss the season. Not to miss the moment. Not to miss it. Because we didn't discern the need. To take a little more time with you. We didn't discern the need to shore up our spiritual warfare skills. We didn't discern the need to renew our mind in a certain area. We didn't discern the need because we were in too big of a hurry. Or because we were too stressed out. Or because we weren't paying attention. We were distracted by the cares of the world or even the spirit of the world wooing us into entertainment and everything that has no eternal value we got distracted God would you help us to focus on the main thing to keep the main thing the main thing oh God oh God help us help us help us help us help us we don't want to live on the fringes of Christianity rushing toward the center in the middle of a crisis we want to be smack dab in the center of your heart smack dab in the center of your will smack dab in the center of everything you've called us to wherever that may be it's all we want that's all we want that's all we want that's all we want drop the plumb line God measure us God reorder our steps if you have to oh God recalibrate refocus Re whatever you want to do. <laughs> we always want the restoring and the refreshing, but sometimes we need the recalibration and the repenting, the reordering of our steps, the reestablishing of our relationship, having strayed from your heart a little too far out of the center onto the fringes. The enemy hangs out on the fringes. Help us, Lord, to get back. To where we're supposed to be if we have strayed if we have moved too far off center if we have missed it somewhere at some time and we didn't realize we are on a totally different path than the one we should be on if we allowed hurt and pain to skew our vision whatever it is that has caused us to lack the discernment we need or lack the power that we need because you've given us all power but we feel so powerless sometimes it seems like nothing's working help us Lord Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to grab another hold, to take another hold, to grab hold again of your heart, of your hand, and to allow you to lead us, to allow you to guide us, to allow you to take the reins of our heart, to allow you to have your way in our life, even if it doesn't feel good in the moment, it'll feel better later. Oh, so many times we're sowing into what feels good now, and later on we've got a mess. 
No discipline for the moment feels good, but later on it produces the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Hebrews says, help us Lord to do what is right. <laughs> Help us, Lord, in the moment to do what is right. <laughs> Help us, Lord, in the moment to do what is right. <laughs> Help us, Lord, in the moment to do what is right. Jesus, it's all about you, God. 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 Help us to make it all about you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, this morning I was studying seasons because the school of the seers were looking into how to see into seasons. And I was so sick when I came back from Israel, I could not finish the class and teach the class. I was on my back for several days and I had it partially done, but not fully done. And I think sometimes God really, oh, all the time, God really does work all things together for the good because what I would have taught two weeks ago is not what I'll teach tomorrow <laughs> because now I have a new revelation God gave me something different as a matter of fact you'll hear me hopefully in the next few days begin to prophesy that we're in a season of rain and I'll begin to unpack that hopefully as I can maybe somewhere along the lines in London I am going back on the road just shortly but beloved let me just make this prophetic announcement we're in a season of rain and again, I'll unpack that at some future date in the next few days, four days, hopefully. But I want to pray into it because in praying into it, many times we get more revelation, don't we? So I'm making an announcement to you. We're in a season of rain. I am making a prophetic announcement to you. We are in a season of rain. The Bible says in Leviticus 26, I will give you your rains in their season and they shall land and they shall bring increase the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. <laughs> I'm announcing to you prophetically that we're in a season of rain. What do you do in a season of rain? You adopt Zechariah 10.1 in a season of rain. Ask rain from the Lord in the season of rain. <laughs> well, why would you have to ask rain in the season of rain? Because you want to be fully on board with what God is doing in the earth. Ask rain from the Lord in the season of rain from the Lord who makes the storm clouds and he will give showers of rain to everyone. Jesus. I decree we're in a season of rain rain represents the blessings of God I thank you Lord that your blessing shall rain down upon us with great fervor Oh Jesus we will not turn to idols looking for blessings we will not lean on the arm of flesh looking for a blessing looking for a leg up but we will turn to the God who gives rain on the earth and sends waters on the field Oh God we will not stay in this time of famine Oh so many of you have been walking through seasons of famine where it seems as if almost the Lord himself withheld the rain but I'm here to tell you it was the devil it was the enemy who shut up the heavens over your life but the Lord is saying now enough is enough and I will shower from above and the rain clouds will rain down righteousness and blessings upon you and the Lord will say to you you have waited and you have wanted and you have even wandered around in a desert place says the Lord a land of cracked dry ground says the Lord but I called you in that season to break up the fallow ground so that I could prepare it so I could prepare you for the rain showers that are coming the blessings that would come down like a deluge for I will flood your heart with blessings and I will flood your mind with revelations and you will come to see and know that what the enemy meant for harm I intended for good because in this next season says the Lord the season of the rain you will make up for lost time and where you were thirsty and where you were hungry for the blessing you will hunger and thirst for righteousness only for the blessing will chase you down and overtake you and you will not have to wonder and worry anymore about where the blessing will come from whatever the blessing is whatever it is you need whatever it is you want whatever the desires that I've put in your heart you will begin to see some of these things come to pass even from decades past says the Lord 
Lord because the enemy has shut up the heavens over your life for a little too long and I've heard your cries and I have come down to deliver you and to bring the rain says the spirit of the living God come on now come on now it's a season of rain oh it wasn't God who shut up the rain over your life who caused the clouds not to bring forth the blessing of the Lord it was the enemy working to get you out of the center to get you off focus to get you under the wrong cloud uh oh to get you under the wrong cloud uh oh some of you didn't receive the blessing of the Lord because you were standing under the wrong cloud Jesus 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 oh and you've suffered long but James 5 7 says be patient therefore brothers until the coming of the Lord see how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth being patient about it until it receives the early and the late rains some of you experienced great blessings years ago and have been through a season of drought most of you it was an enemy inspired drought some of you were just in disobedience <laughs> some of you were just in rebellion some of you caused the, whole, the hard heaven over your own life but most of you it was just the enemy meddling it was just the enemy directing you on the wrong path you're standing under the wrong cloud and God wasn't mad at you some of you the enemy just brought all kind of trials and tribulation that caused your prayer life to dry up and if you want the blessing of God you got to pray it in <laughs> It's not a works based thing, but you got to be a person of prayer. You got to be a person in a relationship. You've got to be a person God can trust. You've got to be a person who is prepared for the rain to receive it. The spiritual capacity. <laughs> Jesus help us Lord help us Lord help us Lord I decree a season of rain Psalm 68 verse 9 rain in abundance rain in abundance Oh God you shed abroad you restored your inheritance as it languished some of you your inheritance seemed like it was a destitute it seemed like where is the spiritual blessings that God has promised I've blessed you with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places and you're dry and parched and walking in the wilderness and desert places rain in abundance oh God you shed abroad you restored your inheritance as it languished Proverbs says his favor is like the clouds that bring the spring rain Jesus let it rain 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 I hear the sound of the rushing of rain ah bashe. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain who can hear it I hear the sound of of the abundance of rain who can hear it I hear the sound of the rushing of rain who can hear it you might not see it now but keep looking you might have to look again and again and again and again and again and again and again keep on looking the rain is coming we're in a season of rain let it 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 rain oh God let it rain whatever it is we need let it rain the blessing that is particular and specific to our lives let it rain let it rain let it rain some of you it's gonna be finances that rain some of you it's just wisdom raining down some of you it's relational security that's raining some of you it's health Health and healing that's raining oh let it be specific to our needs oh God let it rain let it rain I prophesy the rain is coming oh Jesus I decree the famine is over in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah somebody needs to rejoice who can hear the sound of the rain who can hear the abundance of rain who can hear it who can hear it who can hear it who can see it it's like the cloud the size of a man's hand it looks a little uh, far away right now for some of you it looks a little uh, uh, small and insignificant to some of you but do not despise the day of small beginnings do not despise the whiff of rain I can smell the rain oh who can smell the rain it's got a particular smell oh who can hear the rain who can smell the rain how many ambidextrous believers do I have that your spiritual senses are keen enough to see it to hear it to smell it and to feel Feel it symbolically raining down on you rain is a sign of God's blessing and I decree you're blessed you're blessed coming in and blessed going out 
thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We praise you for the rain, the former rains and the latter rains. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you just need to dance around in the puddles when they come. Don't even get your umbrella. Just go ahead and stand and let it drench you. Don't even worry about it. Just get sopping wet and play around it and make some mud pies. Hallelujah. Do what you got to do, but enjoy the rain because the rain's coming. Now, if you're in disobedience and rebellion, it ain't going to rain on you, honey. So make sure you get right with God because we're in a season of rain. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're in a season of rain. Maybe I'm just talking to myself. I don't know. Maybe, I, you know, if you don't want to take it, don't take it. If you don't want to receive it, don't receive it. I'll take your rain. If you're in rebellion, you better get it right. If you're a lukewarm Christian, you better get it straight. You better get some fire because it's raining. Hallelujah. Amen. If this is helping you, if you want to sow into your season of rain, then go ahead and do that. We need your support to do what we're called to do. We can't do it without you. God's created it that way. We're depending on him ultimately, but he uses people. We bless each other. We love each other. If you want to sow today, if you want to become a partner today, you can do that at jenniferleclair.org slash donate. jenniferleclair.org slash donate. jenniferleclair.org slash donate. Amen. The Elijah Company registration is almost over. If you've applied for that, and you've received a response and you have any interest in coming, you better sign up now because you're not going to have a spot. <laughs> I'm not trying to be uh, uh, mean spirited and make you feel like, uh oh, or scare you. But you guys got to stop waiting to the last minute because you won't be able to get in some of these things I'm doing. There won't be a seat. There just won't be a seat. I'm going to break that procrastination spirit off you guys. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it right off where you sign up for the last minute. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Boston, you're another one. You're about to miss it. The Seer Activation Tour has been off the charts. We've been in four cities so far. We're doing Boston, London next week. Boston, London, you're about to miss your visitation from Jennifer LeClaire. You're going to have to get involved in these things. JenniferLeClaire.eventbrite.com. JenniferLeClaire.eventbrite.com. After that, I'm going to be in Jacksonville, Atlanta, Nashville, Oklahoma City. Uh, we're looking at San Antonio up there, Toronto, Pittsburgh, Charlotte. Don't miss it. Elijah Company. This is for profits only. You can find that at GlobalPropheticCenter.com. GlobalPropheticCenter.com. Go sign up for that. If you're not a prophet, it's not for you. You want the prophetic voices intensives. You can find that at GlobalPropheticCenter.com. GlobalPropheticCenter.com. Don't wait till the last minute, guys. We can't plan for you. Even if you do get in, whatever it is we have there that had to be pre-printed or pre-made, you ain't going to get one. Because there's no way for us to wait till the last minute to print everything and ready everything. It's just not, it's not how printers work. Amen. Boston, Tuesday, London, Friday, School of the Prophetic. See your activation tour. Amen. Listen, guys, you can sew with Cash App, dollar sign, Jennifer LeClaire, capital J, capital L, capital C. You can sign, you can sew at PayPal, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the Venmo. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the text to give 754-701-2161. Text the word pray to 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. You can use the P.O. Box, P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. Get on the email list, jenniferleclair.org, jenniferleclair.org. You can text the word profit, P-R-O-P-H-E-T, to 555-888. You can also still get in on the uh, transform, transform, a 90-day spirit prayer challenge. I mean to tell you, lives are being changed around the world. I've never seen anything like it. 90 days of praying the Spirit. I am doing a teaching every day. I talk about a labor of love. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yesterday, my voice was getting hoarse. I'm having to do some in advance, of course, because I travel so much. You can find that at schoolofthespirit.tv. I'll teach more on that hopefully in the next few days. I'm overloaded making all these videos for you guys. Get involved what blesses you. Get on the mailing list. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day.